In the beginning all was darkness, and then the world was spoken into being. It is a story you may have heard, one of many, that have passed into legend. Like the flood that drowned the world of a shepherd boy, fighting a giant, dragons, wizards, and quests for holy grails. Some of these stories have been recounted more accurately than others. There are many tales about Arthur, the once and future king of the Britons. Yet before you can learn the tale of Arthur, as it happened, we must first talk of the being you know as Merlin, how he became entwined in the world of men, and the origin of the sword that became entombed in the stone. I'm Arthur Joey Ruff. Today, I'm here to tell you about the Pendragon Chronicles, a faith-based retelling of the King Arthur legend as a comic book. Merlin, in our tale, is an angelic being. He's been around since the beginning of creation, and he's part of a group that helps and aids humanity when they need it most. His group serves as the wardens for evil spirits, but he has other obligations as well. So to aid him in this, he created the Druid Order, taught them the sciences of heaven that may appear like magic to medieval minds. Things like starting fires, uh, using medicine, charting the stars. He's been away from the world for some time and things have changed in his absence. But what brings him back has a lot to do with dragons. Dragons are often depicted as monsters to be feared and hunted, but not in this world. They were created for a specific purpose and they have a divine provenance to them. At the time of Arthur, they're less numerous in the world and those that do exist, they're in danger. If you watch old movies like Excalibur, Uther Pendragon is a sexed up maniac, driven mad by his desire for a woman. But that didn't fly for me. Kids need heroism displayed in order to awaken the heroism inside of them. As you'll come to see, our Uther is not a perfect character. He can't be. But his primary motivation is to be a good king and to help those in need. His kingdom is built on the gospel. But as imperfect people go, he screws up a time or two, and those actions have consequences. Yet, since God works all things to our good, that's not the end of his story. The Lady of the Lake is reimagined here as a Celtic water spirit called a Kelpie. She can transform into a horse, and while it may sound a little pagan, she, like Merlin, is an angelic being. Her role is that of pacifist. She's a caretaker whose job is to look after the wounded and lost, and when the dragons are found to be in danger, she becomes a reluctant participant in this war. The events that take place in the first story will shape her character into more of what fans of the legend can expect. Everything I've been doing for the past decade has been to marry the myths of the world with the truth of the gospel. That's what I love about this project. The beauty of Arthurian legend is its wide appeal. Our story is designed to touch everyone, from kids in the youth group, to fans of Game of Thrones, to the lifelong Anglophile who gobbles up everything that has knights and magic. There's no preaching, there's no attached Bible verses, but there will be blood and adult themes because the lore and the legend is steeped in sex and betrayal. Yeah, but then again, so is the Old Testament. Thank you for listening to our story and considering partnering with us on our vision. Um, there's several tiers that we've got for you below, so feel free to take a look at those. Choose the one that best fits your needs. Um, you may notice we've got some awesome artists with us. Tom Bancroft, John Pomeroy, both legendary animators, have agreed to do variant covers for us. And we've got more surprises in store. Other guest artists have agreed to partner with us, and we'll reveal those just as soon as we hit our stretch goals. So check back off and tell your friends. And, uh, you know, we're so, so glad to bring the Pendragon Chronicles to the world and um, so happy to have this opportunity to allow you the choice to help us bring it to life. Thank you so much. For so it begins.